Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at the symmetries of square as our third example of permutation group. So, uh, we already know about the group dihedral group D4, which represents the symmetries of a square. Now, we will be looking at this group in a permutation way. So we already know D4 contains the eight elements which are R0, R90, R180 and R270 giving 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree and 270 degree rotation. Then we have a uh, horizontal flip, vertical flip, diagonal flip and the other diagonal flip of the given square. So uh, these uh, eight operations would give us different results and they are the members of D4. And the function operation here is function composition. Right, so this we already know represents the rotation group of symmetries of square. Now what we do for D4, what we do, we associate each motion with a permutation of the uh, location of four corners of the square. So instead of coloring the corners, if we represent the corners by different numbers, say 1, 2, 3 and 4, then we may, be, uh, we may talk about it in terms of numbers and for numbers we can talk about its permutation depending on the arrangement of these uh, different numbers in different ways. So, uh, the 90 degree rotation, it could be expressed as, so we have to move this square uh, anti-clockwise 90 degrees. So, that means this 1 would go to the place of 2, 2 would go to the place of 3, 3 would go to the place of 4 and 4 would go to the place of 1. So, assume that we are rotating it by 90 degrees. So, what will happen? Uh, it will tilt, uh, rotate with the angle of 90 degree with the, the numbers written like this right so we can represent this thing in terms of permutation as well because uh, the initial numbers the initial square was in this form 1 2 3 and 4 right so now uh, in place of 1 we now have 2 right in place of 2 we now have 3 so the correct way of writing it is that uh, the number 1 which was initially one of the corner of the square has now moved on to the number 2. So this 1 has been moved on to the place of 2. 2 would be moved on to the number 3 right and 3 would move on to the number 4 and 4 would move on to the number 1. So this is what happened after performing this 90 degree rotation. So this array now represents the permutation uh, which we obtain after rotating the square counterclockwise or anti-clockwise in 90 degrees. Correct? So this is uh, how we may define different rotations of the group. So different rotations would form up different uh, permutations. Correct? Next, how do we represent a reflection? So for that, suppose we are reflecting the square along the horizontal axis, right? So our square would now become, so this was our initial square. So let me show you. This was our initial square, right? So for this particular square, what we are doing, we are taking the mirror uh, and keeping it horizontally such that this portion of the mirror would come this side and the lower portion would come would, would go upwards right so this one would go to the place of two and two would go to the place of one and three would go to the place of four and four would go to the place of three this is what is happening when we are uh, reflecting it on this horizontal axis so therefore after performing this reflection along the horizontal axis our square now becomes uh, one would come here two would come here 3 would come here and 4 would come here as I have told you here in this figure. Correct? So the permutation would now become 1 would go to the place of 2. That is what I have told you. 1 would go to the place of 2 and 2 would go, not this one, 1 would go to the place of 2 and 2 would go to the place of 1. 3 would go to the place of 4 and 4 would go to the place of 3. So this is another element, this is another permutation which we are calling by phi. So we have one uh, permutation which is rho, right? This represents rotation along uh, 
counter clockwise direction uh, when we are rotating it by 90 degrees and the phi permutation represents the reflection along the horizontal axis rest of the six elements right so this one this one this one this one this one and this one all of them they are obtained by combining these operations and if you see and perform some calculations the two elements phi uh, this row and phi they generate the entire group right so every element of d4 could be written as their combination where e is the identity then we have uh, row row cube row raised to power cube right row cube and then we have sigma then we have sigma into row then we have sigma into row square and then we have sigma into row cube so you may check this thing that all these elements they are obtained by the composition of these two uh, permutations and they form a complete group so this is an exercise to you you may check this thing so here d4 represents a subgroup of the group s4 right so this is d4 and this is a subgroup of the group s4 so i hope you understood this example well well that is it for this video thank you for watching